In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a large file to Google Drive to be shared back in eClass via a link. First, navigate to the portal and click on the Google icon. This will automatically sign you in to your Gmail account and consequently the rest of your Google Apps. When hovered over these nine squares, you can see the words Google Apps appear. Clicking here and selecting Drive will have you sign into your MSMC Google account for your Google Drive. Once here, we suggest creating a new folder for each class. Double click to open it. You can create subfolders within here if you wish to categorize this by week or topic or you may share the whole folder back to your students. To share the whole folder or any folder within this, you would simply click here or right click here and select share. Strict access, only people with access with this link can open. Select Mount St. Mary College, so students with their Gmail accounts will be able to see the information and view it. You can then copy link. This will share the information of the folder to your students. Now let's put something in that folder. I double clicked. You can either right click and do file upload, which will open your file manager on your computer and you'll be able to click and open the file or you may click and drag it from a folder. Once it has been uploaded here, the files will be available in your folder. Once you have created the share link either to this specific folder or the folder as a whole, And copied the link, you may then share it back on eClass. By turn editing on and scrolling to the bottom of this week one topic, you can add activity or resource. I will choose URL, type in a name, click in the box and right click and paste our Google folder. Make sure appearance is set to new window, which is default, and save and return to course. Scrolling back down, you will see that the URL has been created and can be clicked on and brought right to the new folder to share content with your students. If you wish to have a description for this, you can add details in the description and display them on the course page, otherwise they will not be able to be viewed in any other location. Thank you for watching.